How are you? <laughs> hey, good. How are both of you? We're great. Thank good. you. Great seeing you both together uh, on the show. It's been really nice to see. Um, Kimberly, I wanted to ask you first, you know, the HIV story has been such a big part of Robin, but it never really defined her. Can you talk about how important that was, that she wasn't just kind of labeled an HIV carrier? Mm. Yes, I mean, I think that started way back when, when Robin was, was first diagnosed. You know, at that time, it was about her boyfriend, Stone, so th that was a love story. Um, and then it became, you know, um, a woman struggling with uh, a disease, but went off and became a doctor. And then it became about falling in love again, and then it became about wanting to have a baby. So, you know, it's kind of been there in the background is definitely a huge integral part of the character of Robin but she didn't stop her life mm -hmm. you know she she kept going and did all of the things that she dreamt of, of doing okay and Fanola, of course whenever we see Anna show up in Port Charles we always want to know how long is she going to stick around because we like seeing her there oh can you, can you tell me how we you're going to be there thank you I'm, mm -hmm. I'm going to be sticking around for a little bit yeah um so uh I'm very happy to, and um, I think that there's some very interesting storylines coming up. And um, um, we have a, a, a brand new executive producer, as you know, Frank Valentini, and I think that he has a, a, a very strong vision for the show. Uh, and um, I hope that we continue to tell good, responsible stories, like the, mm -hmm. the way Kimberly, uh, Kimberly's character has told over the years. Yeah, and Kim Kimberly, we know you know you're exiting soon, and uh, you know we're sad to see that happen. But are you kind of satisfied with the story that you're going out on? Oh goodness, um, it's really hard. You know, I, honestly, I don't have perspective yet because it's not totally finished. Right. Uh, so I can't I can't really speak to that because I'm kind of in the thick of it, and it's very emotional for me as well, and hard, um, exciting. Um, so there, I have a lot of mixed emotions right now. So it's, it's hard to tell if I'm going to be satisfied or not, you know. And, and, and also I, I just, it's, a, it's an almost insurmountable um, thing to do is to, to write a story about a, a very important character on a show and what's their best exit strategy. Mm -hmm. um, I think it's, it's a very difficult thing to do. And um, however, you, you know, it's like, to, Watching the end of Lost. I mean, yeah, exactly. What, what, whatever, whatever they wrote, we were going to be like. Mm, Everyone I wonder, will have an yes. opinion about so it. Is the thing. It is a yeah. very difficult thing to do. Yeah. Um, and so we'll just see how it plays out. And uh, but I do feel that the that the fans and the audience are going to um, are going to uh, get a lot out of the next couple of weeks. Mm -hmm. And um, and who comes back to the show? Tristan comes back. Scorpio yeah. and Holly's there. Um, so those kind of stories uh, that surround Kim Kimberly. I was just going to say, like, that's kind of what makes me feel good um, about leaving is, is that all of these people who I grew up with are now coming, coming back to the show. And that just, that just feels, really, that feels really good. It feels like the way it should be. Yeah, and, I, you know, do you think it's important that, you know, kind of the audience that has hung in there for all these years and through these tough times we're going through now with the soap, that we're, we're getting rewarded in a way because you guys are kind of yes. honoring the history of your characters and the show? Well, I mean, it's it's really our new producer and writer that are doing that. You know, they're fans of the show, and they respect the history of the show, and that's why all these people are coming back, you know, and to give the, the fans a treat, you know, it's it's like a, it's like a little gift. And, and I think that that's uh, well, some of the most important aspects of, of uh, a soap opera is you you think of the characters in the story first, and the audience is is the main um, sort of the main character, if you like, within that that, mm -hmm. that you have to satisfy. So I, I do feel if you put your audience first and and you know and and help w build the story around that and what they would like to see, then I think that you're onto a winner. Yeah. And let's hope that, that let's let's hope that that that's um, how they feel. And we know what what they'd like to see because we have Twitter. <laughs> yes. yes, exactly. exactly. And, and Twitter would they, like months ago. I was getting information that I needed to. I you know you need your your daughter needs you. I was getting all these sort yeah. of twitters and, and and even friends that watch the show were texting me. Your Robin's in serious trouble. <laughs> you need to go back to the show. It's okay. I kicked your butt a couple times. You did times. kick your butt. Okay, yeah. good. Would, would you say then it's safe to say in the next couple of weeks we better have our tissues nearby when we're watching the show? 
But that depends on your personality. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> when was the last time you cried? <laughs> Oh my, okay, that's yeah. a good question. All right, yeah. I'll, I'll let you both go. Thank you so much, and great to see you again, and can't wait Thank to see you. these next episodes. Thank you, Jim. Thank you. Take Thank care. you. Thank you, bye. Bye-bye.